at five. It's progress that many in the central east side neighborhood of Portland wanted to see. 60 days into their 90 day reset plan and dozens of unsanctioned campsites have been removed along with thousands of pounds of trash. And Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to business owners in the area and joins us now live in southeast Portland to tell us about the challenges still ahead. Connor. Well, Pete and Riel, just driving around this neighborhood, you'll notice a difference than about two months ago. Trash has been picked up, some of the graffiti has been cleaned, and a lot of those unsanctioned camps have also been removed. But I also spoke to one business who says that he hopes this momentum continues beyond the 90-day reset mark. It's a major milestone for the Central East Side's 90-day reset plan. A lot of cleaner streets, cleaner um, right-of-ways, and if you've driven around lately, you probably have seen less graffiti. The neighborhood is two-thirds of the way through its 90 days, and Claire Brilio, executive director of the Central East Side Industrial Council, says she's seen positive progress. We have really strengthened the relationship that we've had with our city partners, and, you know, we're all here just trying to do a good job and trying to bring back some sense of normalcy and safety to the streets. Claire says the number of unsanctioned camps dropped from 150 to 80 over the last two months. She says the city has devoted half of its resources in the neighborhood to clean off unwanted graffiti. The city has also removed nearly 374,000 pounds of trash since December. Claire says the work to reset the central east side will not stop after 90 days. I think it's going to take a lot of um, community effort to sustain the work that we've done so far. Michael Abino, owner of Legacy Modern Home Furnishings, says he's noticed the cleanliness improve around his business. But he says moving unsanctioned camps shouldn't be the overall solution. We have to figure it out. We have to help people. Um, even if we don't know them and if we don't know their story. He says running a business in the central east side is still challenging. He does hope the momentum continues in his neighborhood and the 90 day reset wasn't a short term fix to long term problems. So I'd like to see it keep going. I mean, what are we resetting to? That was the other thing too. Like we're resetting to what? So it can start again? Or are we evolving to something else? And I'd like to see us continue to evolve in a in a more um, respectful manner to people's ability to pursue life, liberty, and happiness that's guaranteed to all of us. Well, Pete and Riel, Claire also says that safety has improved in this neighborhood too. Businesses have reported to her that they've seen a decrease in petty crime like vandalism because of the increase of police presence here. Now, Claire says that they're working to try to reinstitute the Community Policing Action Committee, which can teach people about how to deter crime before it happens. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.